What's going on bro, it's David here, and in this video I'm gonna go over five common bulking mistakes skinny guys make that keep you scrawny and prevent you from building muscle. Let's get started! Alright man, I'm not gonna waste your time. Number one is that you have a small appetite. Look, all skinny guys think that they eat a lot of food and that they have a big appetite. But the fact is that if you're not gaining weight and you're not building muscle, then you're not eating enough food. And from my experience being a former skinny guy myself, from having a lot of scrawny friends, I find that you're probably just having one big meal a day and that's why you think you're eating a lot, but aside from that meal, all you're doing is snacking. So even though maybe you're eating very frequently, all of those little snacks, they don't add up to a large number of calories at the end of the day. So here's my recommendation. You should eat three big meals every single day. And if you wanna know the exact number of calories you need to consume, then check out my diet calculator in the description. Anyway, let's keep the video rolling. All right, man, mistake number two is that you probably rely on mass gainer supplements. Trust me, bro, I used to do the same thing. You gotta realize that one serving of most mass gainers usually only contains about 600 or 700 calories, and that alone is not enough to solve your problems because you probably need to eat at least 3,000 calories a day to gain weight. Like I said back in number one, your focus should always be on eating three large meals per day. And if you do wanna use a gainer shake, then don't buy some BS supplement at the store. Just make your own. All you need is oats, milk, peanut butter, and protein powder, and not only is this way cheaper than any supplement you can buy, but if you use a lot of peanut butter and oats, you're easily going to be able to reach over 1,000 calories in a single shake. Just put all of these ingredients into a blender, and then BAM! There you have it, and the best thing about this is that it's not even that filling. It's literally that big of a drink over a thousand calories and you're still gonna have an appetite for your other meals of the day. And if you're looking for a good protein supplement to use, I cannot recommend this one enough. It's 100% grass-fed protein by Transparent Labs. It is literally the most delicious protein I've ever tasted in my life. I'll put a link in the description to that protein powder. You can use my code BEAST for a discount. Let's keep rolling. All right, man, I'm walking to the gym for my workout. And by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram yet, go do that now because I post good bulking meal ideas on my story every single day. That being said, number three is that you're following a weak routine in the gym. If you want to build muscle as fast as possible, then your routine absolutely needs to incorporate two key things. The first one is progressive overload, and that basically just means that each week, you need to push yourself to lift a little bit more weight in each exercise you're doing. And the second thing is frequency, so ideally you wanna make sure that you hit each muscle group in your body at least two times per week, because this is gonna make sure you maintain consistently high levels of muscle protein synthesis. So for that reason, I recommend that most guys follow a full body routine. And if you're looking for a good full body routine, then I have a free one you can download in the description or by clicking the I in the top right corner. I hope all that makes sense. If you're enjoying the video so far, bro, make sure you click subscribe and turn notifications on because I release videos just like this every Monday and every Thursday and you don't wanna miss them. It's time to get my workout in, but keep watching because after the workout, I have the final two mistakes and you don't wanna miss them.
All right guys, workout complete, and I have some pretty devastating news. Before the workout, I was using the drone to film some cool shots of the city, and you probably will get to see a couple of them, but for the last shot, I had it hovering above the street behind me, and then I lost control of the drone. The joysticks wouldn't do anything, and it crashed into like the third story of this building, and then smashed to the floor. It's completely broken. So I'm gonna contact DJI and see if they can replace it for me, because it wasn't responding, and it's supposed to have sensors on the front of it to prevent it from crashing into shit, and they weren't working. But life goes on, let's keep this video going. All right, man, bulking mistake number four is that you're doing too much sports. And trust me, man, I get it. I love playing basketball. Ball is life. But the fact is that if you're playing sports three or four times per week, you're gonna be burning a shit ton of calories and it's gonna be nearly impossible for you to gain weight and build muscle. So here's what you have to do. You have to decide right now, is your priority playing sports and getting better at sports, or is your priority building muscle and turning into a beast? And if it's building muscle, then I recommend that you limit your cardio or sports to just one day per week, two days per week at the absolute maximum. That being said, let's head home and drink this gainer shake. All right, we're back home. The gainer shake has been devoured or drinking and I'm still pretty bummed about the drone, but the fifth and final bulking mistake I got for you is that you're afraid of fat. Look, you might not wanna hear this, but the fact is that if you're a scrawny guy who has been scrawny for a long time, there's probably a good chance that you have a subconscious fear of getting fat and that that is what has prevented you from eating more and putting on weight. But the harsh truth here is that when you're bulking, you are gonna gain a little bit of fat. Look, you're not instantly gonna get chubby, but if you gain 10 pounds, you know, probably two or three pounds of that is gonna be fat, and that's all right, especially if you're a naturally skinny guy, you're not gonna have any trouble cutting back down after your bulk and trimming off that extra fat while maintaining that new muscle that you built. I hope that makes sense anyway. Those are five common bulking mistakes that I see skinny guys making all the time. I'm gonna wrap the video up here because I actually have to head to UPS to ship the drone back and see if they can replace it for me. But if you made it all the way to the end of the video, then what are you doing, bro? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you click subscribe. I will talk to you in the next video. If I don't talk to you in the next video, I'm gonna be mad, bro. Stay beastly!